So, it's the end of the month, February the 29th. It actually, it actually hasn't been that bad this month. I know it doesn't look like loads of sales on the board, but I'm sure that if you look, all of them are green. Green, 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 and there's only one trade car. So, so that's good. Today, we've got an Arona. That's going out this afternoon. So we'll be on 19 sales for the month, which is, it's not great, but a lot of them had good profits in them. So I'm, I'm really confident we're going to be in half decent profit this month. Turnover, 2023, last February was 192k. This year, it's 180k. So not, not as much turnover, which is a bit disappointing, but I'm sure we're going to be in profit. I'm, I'm yeah, definitely be in profit. Just depends what profit that is. We'll find out from the bookkeeper. And also as well, when you look on the pitch, you'll probably notice that there's not loads of cars because I'm just being really careful in what I'm buying at the minute. This year, this is the year of not having too many bad buys. And I'm not saying I had loads of bad buys last year, but and the ones that were bad buys have been hanging around and they're at the top of the funnel now where the, a few of them are still here. So everything what I'm looking at at the minute, I'm just on Aston Barkley at the minute. And I've got a couple of Karok. So I'm looking at this Karok. Nice colour. Automatic as well. as well. I'm sticking to automatics as well because, you know, we're not a big car supermarket. We, we need to be niche. You know, we won't be buying stuff that people are actually looking for on Auto Trader. And if we're wanting to sell newer stuff, in my head, I think it's just it's got to be uh, automatic type stuff. So this ideal posh mum car, automatic, twenty three thousand. Cap clean price is sixteen thousand three fifty. Auto Trader, I've got it at retail valuation at twenty thousand five hundred. It's a ninety out of a hundred which is really good, they're in demand. That is what I've got my eye on today. That one, and we've got a mini automatic, but it's got 110,000 on, so that's too high mileage, that. And then another thing, what I really like the look of this, a Golf, 1.6, diesel, automatic again, 68,000, so quite nice on the miles. Full service history, and that again, the retail rating on that's about 70 out of 100. I know we'll sell that. This is it going forward, we won't be buying cars that we know we can sell. Because we've got a couple of cars out there, what we're going to go on about today, a couple of Land Rovers that have been here for nearly a year. A few vans left, and then just stick to this bread and butter stock, the minis, the posh mum cars, automatics, and just stick to that. So we've, we've had the coffee machine delivered last week, obviously needed a clean out, but we've ordered all the bits for it now. So when you walk through, customers will come through here and then this kitchen area used to generally just be for us for like as lunch in the fridge and making a cup of tea, but we've managed to turn it into a little bit more of a proper coffee station. We've not been able to go too elaborate with it. Using it a couple of times this week, we've found that it's been really nice to say to customers when they go out on a test drive, oh, do you want a drink when you get back and just have it ready on the desk for them when they come in. They feel like they're getting something back. It, it just makes it, I don't know, makes it more personal, doesn't it? It makes it feel like a better experience. So that's as 1% improvement for this week is nice new coffee area. Talk about these land rovers. This one has been in stock for nearly a year. And at the time when I bought it, oh God, I thought I'd burgled it. Honestly, I thought it was probably one of the cheapest Land Rovers out there. I think I paid eight grand for it. So, and it's only got 69,000 miles. So at the time, the retail value of that was, it was 15 grand all day long. But it didn't come like this. And this is what I'm trying to, get across to people you know you can learn from my mistakes but you've all got to make mistakes it's the only way you learn sometimes if something's so cheap it never ends up being cheap when this came i thought great it needs a battery on and i thought that was it but that is never just it and i thought right i'll refurb the alloys and a bit of bodywork so i've done the alloys 
We've done the body work. We've bought the nice black badges. It had a battery on it and then it wouldn't lock. So again, being a Land Rover, it wasn't just one lock that needed replacing. All four of the bloody locks needed replacing. I mean, these are just rough estimates, but just the locks, getting all the locks fixed and programmed in was 660 quid. The latch, some 165 quid for some sort of latch. The bodywork, I spent £455 on. The windscreen wipers weren't working as well. I was missing a fuel cap. That was around £340. Delivery, because I bought it flipping miles away. The delivery was £319. In total, I've spent two and a half grand on it. It was eight grand, but then plus the indemnity fees, that was probably another 500. It, it owes us now 11 grand. And because I've had it for nearly a year, I'm just reducing it, reducing it and reducing it. This time last year, it was worth 15. And now as well, you know, like Land Rover prices have, have went down. I've now got it advertised at 10 and a half grand. I'm going to make a loss on it. So, you know, what I've learned from, from this is you've just, you have got to buy cars that don't need too much prep. Especially when you've got this amount of cars that they're hanging about, that they're hanging about, and then you're like, oh, I'll get to that next week, I'll get to that next week. And then before you know it, six months have gone. Now we're up to 12 months. It looks beautiful. It looks absolutely spot on, and it should sell. But another mistake I've made, it's only got one key, and it's got no service history with it as well. I'm just up against it, trying to sell it. I'm just really up against it. So we've got it on at 10 and a half grand. Hopefully it's gonna sell now, and it is a good car. Oh God, it's just so annoying. It's so annoying when you, you have a car for this long. A Vaux, don't get me wrong, I will buy another one, but it's got to be in eight to nine out of 10 condition. No more cars that are like a four out of 10. Then, going on to this one. We love this one, don't we, Wayne? Yes. <laughs> but we love the look of it, we love it. But again, it's got a story with it. All the Land Rovers seem to have a story with them. They do. So this here is out of the box. It was from Land Rover. We've got it through a dealer that we know, you know, buys stuff out of the main agents. Too high mileage for Land Rover. It's got 120,000 miles on the clock, but it's got full Land Rover service history. It's absolutely beautiful. Grade one. So this one, you think, oh, I've got half a chance. There's somebody going to be out there who wants. It looks good value at 120. I think we had, I think we, we had it on it 24,000, and we sold it last year. And the customer had it for, I think, two two months. And then he got his solicitors on to us, saying that there was a fault with the car at the time of when he when he purchased it. We had solicitors' letters come through. We had to do, not an ACE report, but an A report. And anyhow, long story short, there was a little leak. It's got heated seats in the rear. And it was the pipe, something to do with the heated seats. We didn't want to go through the courts and that. We didn't want to spend fortunes on solicitors. So we just give the customer his money back. And to fix the this fault was 1,500 quid. You know, a car that looks immaculate, even then, you're still up against it with little things that you never know what are going to go wrong. We've had this for, for nearly a year as well. We've now got it advertised at 22 grand, I think, and it owes us 23 grand. Just these Land Rover, these prestige cars, I just, I just really struggle to sell them, you know. What's he doing? So once this has gone, and once, well, I know once the Land Rover's gone, we're definitely not selling any more, sorry, not Land Rover, Range Rover, no more Range Rovers, Evokes. Yeah, but we might give them another go, as long as it's really well looked after and we don't have to spend a fortune on it. Anyway, you're looking empty. We're all going today. Yeah, uh, have a shuffle about. I call a shuffle about. Remember, slow is fast. Fast is slow. He does 
just love getting into a tango. Just love it. Can't get enough of it, mate. Can't get enough. Love a tango, my heart. Going out Saturday, somebody online, little video shoot, etc., etc. Well, have it, we will. That's the ticket. I, 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 fucking hell, do you know what? I was in a really good mood yesterday. I know. Because like, we'd done them two cars. What did we sell yesterday? Well, we got that um, that Nissan Cash car went out. Yeah, and Cash that, car went out. And then that golf guy came over from Derry in Ireland to pick it up. And he yeah. was, they were both lovely, weren't they? Lovely yeah, couple. Yeah, he just had it. He yeah. They just, just took it and they buggered off, and that was it. Well, he texted me this morning, he just went, This car's running great, James. We love it. And we're like, yeah. That's what you want. It's just. Straight up, that was it. Really good day yesterday, <laughs> and then it's just all. So then I've just walked into a fucking shower of shit. Sorry for <laughs> swearing there. <laughs> and he's the customer here now. He can come in. Yeah, yeah, come in. Thank you. Thank you. Is it? Oh. He's not that customer. No, no, it's the dad. That's what makes it even worse. So like, dad, he's Somebody there. He's there looking at me like, oh, you're gonna fix my car. Anyhow, let me get to what's happened. So we sold a Kia Seed for Fair five you. months ago. Well, right? nearly March, five, so like six months almost. Five months ago. <laughs> and this is what's so annoying being a, a car dealer is you're just kicking yourself all the time. Like, why the fuck didn't I do that That's, at that time? Yeah. Well, you get busy and, and you don't do stuff. So we had this Kia Seed and the engine management light was on. And it was still in its Kia warranty, and I should have just took it to Kia and got it fixed there. But this customer turned up, said, oh, we want it, we want it, we want it as soon as possible. We put it on the computer, and it said an O2 sensor. Mm. So I thought, oh, an O2 sensor, it's going to be like 60, 70 quid. So we let them have the car, and what I should have done was say, look, go and take the car to Kia, and they'll do it under the warranty. And if they don't, then come back to us. But for some reason, I didn't. And then I ordered the Lamba sensor. It came, but it was an OEM part, and it didn't fit. No, it, was, no, it wasn't OEM. It was Bosch, wasn't it? It was a, oh, it was a Bosch one, yeah. Aftermarket. Well, quality part, but aftermarket yeah. part. And then apparently that can't be coded to it or something. It didn't which, fit. It which, didn't, which, fit, it didn't fit, whatever. So yeah. then the mechanics next door have took the old Lamba sensor off, that one doesn't fit. And then they've come back and said to us all, look, go and get another Lamb Lamb sensor, sensor, but it needs to be from Kia. So we went and ordered it straight away from Kia, and it was about 150 quid. Honestly, I'm kicking myself for doing it. <laughs> so 150 quid, we get it, we put it there. You tell them, don't you? Oh, Lamb sensors it, or two sensors Yeah, here. come and get it when you And ready. we haven't heard from them. Since then, I've no warning, no nothing. Mark comes in the mechanic next door and he's like, Oh, I'm with the customer with the, the seed. Um, we've uh, tried to fit that that O2 sensor and it doesn't fit. It needs another sensor. I can't remember what sensor he said, but it's 500 quid. I'm like, 500 quid? <laughs> so they took, they took the wrong sensor off in the first place then? Or? I don't know. I don't know. Well, that other sensor was like 150 or something. Yeah, it weren't too bad, were con considering. So 150, but because they've tried to put that one on and they've took the bloody thing out of the box... Can't send it back. I can't back. send it back. So there's 150 quid, and now we've got to spend 500 quid on another type of sensor. And I said to the customer, I was like, look, I'm not putting a brand new sensor on, I'm going to buy a second hand one. And even the second hand ones are 300 quid. So... And to be fair, he was all right, wasn't he? Yeah, he seemed, he seemed, he seemed okay. happy enough. Yeah. But I've just walked in and there's 700, well, 600, well, no, 300 quid plus 150. So 450. 450. Still but a 450 quid, kick in the teeth when you're not expecting it. For something that happened months ago. Yeah. Yeah. And I could have just sent it to Kia. Oh, what a donut. If a customer had just come and had it done the week after with a notice, they'd probably sorted it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. Got, it must have been like, I can't even remember, that's it, I can't even remember when they had the car. It's that yeah. long ago. And you feel like saying, oh, look, if you brought it to us straight away, then, yeah, you feel like tell me to sod off, but I, I just can't do yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Not well, they're, they're, they're out of, nearly, yeah, well, yeah, they're yeah, out of warranty, aren't yeah, they, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, it was there when we sold it. Exactly. You know, so, you know, you've got to do it. Yeah. That's it, this <laughs> job. <laughs> yesterday, I was like, I love this job, it's great. And now today, I'm like... 
it's half an hour out of your day dealing with something that was in your control but now has kind of gone yeah. out of control hasn't it and, that's, and it was partly my fault as well yeah it's just <sighs> could we still send it back to Kia or can't we because it's th- been... this is the thing the throw, they said so the mechanic next door is saying that oh we gave you the Lamba sensor they didn't no they didn't because we've got hardly any parts here and if we do get a part back we stick it like Somewhere where we know we, we where know it is. It goes on that so shelf or The mechanics next door have just went, oh, see you later. So now we can't take it back to Kia because there's no Lamba sense, no O2 so sensor it's, there. It's, it's, been, it's been messed around with, hasn't it? Yeah. That's what they'll say so, straight so away. They're not going to fix it anyway. So, <sighs> fucking hell. Oh, well. It's all fun and games in the motor trade, isn't it? <laughs> but let's keep positive. <laughs> no. I am positive. <laughs> yeah. The machine. These two clowns. Ask how many customers that so used it, and how many times has James, James has used this, and Dave. I've had zero drinks at this. I don't even have to use it. I know we've got a book of words here, like, but that don't mean unto to me, but them two, <laughs> Jane actually loved this. Both make each other's drinks, bless them. What about me? I don't mind a chocolate. Just saying. We've had, uh, it's looking a bit bare outside, isn't it, Wayne? So I can feel Wayne's anxiety going up because there's not that many cars out there. So this morning, I've had a, a productive morning and uh, hopefully we've bought three cars. So this one, we've, we've definitely won this one. Skoda Octavia, 45,000 miles. Automatic, fully street, two keys. Got it from Aston Barkley for hammer price was 11,700 so if we just go to auto trader they've got that at retail valuation 14,500 so hopefully that's a good buy and we've always done all right haven't we Scored, with scored yeah. estate automatics get that down scored a person that's, <laughs> that's it that's scored a man bit like a mondeo man. man i think yeah I think yeah. that is a good buy. Next one. I got a bit sucked in with this one. Only because, again, I hate saying it, it was a bit cheap. But it was a bit cheap. It's an Arona, that, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it's an Arona. Arona Tech, or one of them. Diesel, but it's got 78,000 miles on the clock. And we've got that provisional at 7,800. So hopefully we'll get it for 7, 8, but might have to give a little bit more. But the good thing with that is I think any Seat a Tech or Rona, whatever you call them, under 10 grand, like we can we can put that up at 10 grand. And I think that's a really nice price range to be in for them. So hopefully that one's gonna sell. We've bought another one. Go on, get me excited now. <laughs> you get excited. I, I, I don't know yet. I don't know. So it's it's <laughs> don't I, worry, I, I, I've don't. asked him earlier on what, what cars are we getting, what we're expecting. Don't get too excited with this. I know I think it's gonna sell, put it that way. It's a Honda CRV. What are you happy with that? Because it's an automatic. Well, I'm Honda person again. Yeah. Well it's got the history. You you probably get a good party. Not it? not bad mileage. Seventy two thousand miles. I'm confident we'll sell that. We've got it a little bit under Auto Trader retail valuation. So provisional 9,000, Auto Trader have it at 9,600. Retail at 13. So that, that's, that's a good buy, that. Buy that. That's, really that's a good, good buy. Good buy. <clears throat> and the, the bodywork doesn't look too bad on it. So, next job, me and James are going to go, because only at Donington. So it's like, 26 miles from here, 40 minutes away from here. So me and James are going to go and get the Skoda uh, Estate Octavia. We're going to bring that back here. And if we get the other two, we'll go and get the other two tomorrow. Well done, Dave. <laughs> well done, Dave. <laughs> Let's see if they make it back here. Of course they will. <laughs> I'm not going to that bad with them too, that's what I'm saying. So is this? 
this Citroen relay. Bloody hell, I put an engine in it. I had to put a, a new engine in it. We took it to Sheffield Engine Services, didn't we? And they reconditioned it. it. Cost about two grand. But yeah, we took this in part exchange again about a year ago. And because I'd spent that much on the engine, I just thought, look, I'll, I'll advertise it cheap and we'll leave the bodywork as it, as it was. And it looked terrible. There was dinks, there was dents. The wheels were all rusty and stuff. Well, anyhow, last week we took it to a body shop and it only cost 200 quid. A set of trims for 30 quid and we've bought two new wing mirrors. That wing mirror's not been replaced yet, driver's side. And the wing mirrors were 50 quid each. And now it looks... What do you reckon, Wayne? It looks better, a lot better. It don't, it don't look sorry for itself. No, I think it so looks when we get that mirror, but it's like just these and trims. And probably valeted it as well. Me and Craig. Me yeah, and yeah. Craig. You're doing a it looks uh, a really nice van. Where before it was stood there and I was like, oh God. It so just go show if you put a bit of love into them. Bit of love, it looks, yeah, it don't feel tired. I know it's a van, but it's a yeah. nice van. Yeah, it's a nice van. It's a nice van, yeah. I'm gonna go that That'll go now. So right, I'm gonna, we're gonna go to Donington. You hold the fort, Wade. Oh, I'll hold the fort, just say. Just say. Wing mirror. So these are torques. So when they say, oh, you know, you go around to the next door and go, oh, what torque size is it, etc. etc. Well, I don't know. Pro tip for you. If you don't know the size, get your thumb or the finger and go, go squeeze like that. Takes a takes a mark and go, have you got that size? And then they'll match it up like that. And this is a T40, so instead of, you know, if you got one, you could actually take a photo, but if you take a print, and then if you've got that size, you know what I mean, smile, and then you get their bit of fancy tools. You know what I mean? Just saying. This is where it fucking collapses, then. <laughs> this holding on? Will power and termination? Won't be in a minute because it, it's called if in doubt get a clout. That's what it's called in a minute. I love my job, me I do. Hang on. It is, that's holding on with all power and termination. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. I achieved. I achieved. Call that done now, look. Now, what you do now, you get the new one. <laughs> we'll just put some tiger seal on it and just call it done. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. I achieved. I've made myself, me, I do. Ah. <laughs> It's a mine. Oh. Joel, man. That's all done yet. Because <laughs> I don't want to, because the floor of it, they were 50 quid each. Oh, achieve! It's on! It's on! Indicators. Hit this, look! Dave, I know we haven't probably hit target, but what about performance? Just saying. Just saying. Look, look, it's working. And it moves up and down and everything, this and everything, you know, it goes up and down. Up oh, and up and down, hey! Now we have the top there. Yes! My, my, I amaze myself, me! 
Ten points for me. Yeah. Achieved. Love it. Just pick this up from uh, Castle Donington. It's not bad actually, just needs a few touch ins in a couple of places. I've called it Roger because when you get in, he says, Hello, Roger. So, Roger was obviously a man who didn't clean his car that much. You just know who's owned the car in the past, or you can guess, judging by certain things. But apart from that, it's it's fine. Clean on the outside. Tyres, I think, need doing. These back brakes are good, actually. They're in good nick. Look more or less brand new, to be fair. So it looks like it's had new discs on it. And therefore, some the pads. Yeah, those pads are pretty meaty as well. So it's had definitely new discs and pads on it at some point. It's the boot where most of the the grot is. Of course, he's got his emergency travel pack. I don't know if these are from the spare wheel. No, nope. inflation kit in this one. That surprises me. Roger seems like the sort of bloke who'd order a, a spare wheel. He's got his Skoda umbrella. You can do the seats from there. Magic. They're just big, lumpy, nice cars, aren't they? Drive spot on. Can't see as we'd have any issue shifting this too fair, so mud flaps. It's just a it's just a decent spec. So yeah, that's today's goodbye. And let's see. Let's see how fast it sells. <laughs>